Hello there, I am John Hoyt, and I'm here to talk to you about practical security, information security, strategies, tactics, tips that you can use in your business, in your home, with your family, um, anywhere that are something you can implement today. And I know this is cliche, it's something that you've probably heard a bunch of times, but passwords are still a problem passwords are still an issue. And if I was going to talk to my friends and I would say, just think about it. Think about the places that you use a password that is not necessarily the strongest password and you use that password on many different places or a bunch of different places. And you know, I know, I know there's passwords out there because I, I know my friends. I'm talking to you. And I know you use that password that is not the strongest that I give you the frowny face over um, that you reuse that password somewhere else. And it's like, oh, it's so easy. I just, I just, I can't keep up with passwords, right? Why is this a problem? Because every day, many sites get compromised. And if you look at places like, have I been pwned? Put your email out there. Type it in and it'll tell you all the places that your your account, your email has shown up in breaches and people mine that stuff. The bad guys, quote unquote, mine that stuff all the time. And they use those passwords to try to get into everything. They'll try to get into Office 365. They'll try to get into your domain. They'll try to get into Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, whatever. They're trying that and they have automated tools. They're not doing it manually because they get a dump. And they'll just go through the list. So they're not like one, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. They're just <laughs> zoom through, okay? And they're doing it from all, uh, using proxies all over the world. So it's not like they're doing it just from their home computer. It's not, that's not how it works. So more than likely, the site where you put that password in, it's more than likely it's going to have a problem. It's going to have a breach and that password is going to be exposed somewhere. And you might not even know it, or maybe you missed the email where they tried to tell you, Hey, we had a breach. Well, I mean, biggest thing is, is make sure that, you know, what do you do? Right? What would I tell my friends to do? What would I tell a business owner to do? Well, I would say, use a password safe, you know, just find a password safe that you, you like use, Last pass, use one password, use end pass, use Bitwarden, use one of those, try them out, okay? And generate a long password, have it generate a long password that's unique to that site, that domain, that place, and that's it. Then, then, if, then when you use that password, you're like, all right, if it gets breached, okay, it's not great, but it's not the password that I use for everything, right? And this is simple, this is easy, it's a simple tactic that you can use with your family, with everybody. And, you know, like you might be worried, well, what about all, I'm putting all my eggs in this basket, I'm putting all my stuff in LastPass, as a good example. Um, and I, I use it LastPass, I like LastPass, but I don't use it for everything, okay? I'll use LastPass for just about everything, things that, if it got compromised, if LastPass got compromised, I wouldn't be fret, fretting over. I wouldn't be so distraught. Well, I'll use, like my banking site, I wouldn't put my bank credentials in there, potentially, because I might be worried that all my eggs are in this basket, basket and my bank credentials. Don't put don't put it in there. Put Create another one that's local. Use another free one that's local. Um, or write it on, you know, on a notepad. The chances of that being stolen you know, don't take it to the office, but if you have a notepad that's at home, that's like, this is my bank credentials, it's not the end of the world. The risk of that is very low, right? Well, put the stuff that you care about in another password safe that's offline, that it would take more to breach or to compromise. Maybe it's on your machine. They'd have to get in your machine and your password safe. But then all the other stuff that you ha use out there, your Pinterest, your Facebook, your Twitter, your whatever, Use that password safe for those that you can, it doesn't matter. It's random, it's generated, it's long, it's strong, and you're done with it. You know, you're, you're the stress and the risk and the headache is done with it. Now, I know, because I see it all the time, there is this mentality that it's not going to happen to me. 
right? And you know, I'm just, I'm a cop, you know, I'm just a needle in the haystack. There's just so many people, so many things that to worry about. I'm not too worried about this. Well, it does happen. I see these breaches all the time and those password dumps happen every day. Multiple of those happen and it's hard to find out sometimes where they came from. And just to keep it safe, you know, don't, you know, just because you think this password I'm just using in my local business, nobody's ever going to get that. Um, well, I mean, start thinking about that password and where else you may use it out on the internet, right? And what would happen if somebody found it? So keep it simple. Use a password safe. I'm telling you, it will re reduce your risk, reduce your headache. If something does happen, when something does happen, expect it to happen. Don't hope and pray. It's not a strategy, not a good tactic. Um, just plan on it for happening. Then, then you're 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 over it. You're okay. Um, you know, use a good, strong, long password that is unique to that password safe. That you know you're protecting the the crown jewels with that password. Write it down if you have to. You know, um, until you memorize it. So that's it. Passwords are a problem. They are a problem for everybody. They're still a problem. They're going to be a problem until we can get rid of passwords, which isn't anytime soon. But it is an issue. You know, I know. I know you're using that password somewhere else. So that's it for today, um, for this morning. Just thank you for tuning in, checking this out. I hope it's helpful. I hope it's useful. Share it with your family. Share it with your friends. Just say, like, look, I know that password, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, password one, spring 2020, exclamation mark, um, winter now. I've changed it. So, you know, just share it with them. Let them know, look, look password safe. Try it out. Play with them. They're all pretty, pretty easy to use. So thank you. Thank you again and have a good day.